On January 5, 1948, Willie Studer founded the Willie Studer Company and was building oscilloscopes for high voltage labs. In 1949, he built his first tape recorder called the Dynavox, had only Studer 27. In 1952, mass production of the Studer 27 A36 goes into production under the name B36. It was the first machine to have separate heads. The first Revox stereo recorders, beginning with the D36, appeared in 1960 and sold in tuner, the A76 and A78. Chris and I were lucky to get to meet Jeff Emmerich and attend an interview with him that was conducted by the Texas Nearest chapter. This is the Studer Revox Dynavox. This is one of the first recorders built by Willie Studer after he'd been working on the brush sound mirrors and become frustrated with their this quality. This is our Studer B67 two-track mastering machine. This unit operates really well. It ran 15, seven and a half, three three quarters IPS. It's got a small especially for half-track mastering. The unit ran three and three quarters and seven and a half, but could be electronically switched to seven and a half and 15 inches. It has its own dust cover, a custom reel hubs. Design-wise, the reel hubs are some of the best in the industry. With other equipment that matched. things that a couple of the companies did, which was Rebox and Pioneer, is they manufactured some components that matched the tape recorders, or they manufactured tape recorders that matched the components. It has a pull-down panel, this is the Reebok system. which exposes a lot of the controls 